The power of a strong start. Why section intros matter. You've got a great story to tell. You're eager to share your knowledge. But how do you keep your readers hooked from start to finish? The answer lies in mastering the art of section introductions. Think of each section intro as a mini headline. It's a chance to grab your reader's attention and tell them, hey, this next part is worth your time. A strong section intro can pique curiosity, provide a roadmap, and make your content more engaging and digestible. Without compelling section intros, your content might feel like a jumbled mess. Readers might lose interest or miss key points. So how do you write section introductions that captivate your audience? Let's dive in. Grabbing attention from the get-go. Crafting your intro. A good section intro should be short, snappy, and relevant to the information that follows. Think of it as a mini preview of what's to come. Here are a few ways to make your section intros pop. Pose a question. Ever wondered why the sky is blue? Use a bold statement. This one tip will change the way you write forever. Share a surprising statistic. Did you know that 90% of readers, by starting with a bang, you'll keep your readers engaged and eager to learn more? Question. What's the most captivating section intro you've ever read? Share your thoughts in the comments. Curiosity is key. Asking the right questions. Questions are your secret weapon when it comes to writing engaging content. By asking questions throughout your writing, you invite your readers to actively participate in the learning process. But not all questions are created equal. The most effective questions are those that are relevant to your topic, spark curiosity and encourage thought, and are easy to understand and answer. Think about the questions your readers are already asking themselves. What are their pain points? What do they want to learn more about? For example, if you're writing about the benefits of exercise, you might ask, feeling sluggish? Exercise can boost your energy levels. Want to improve your mood? Exercise is a natural mood booster. Question. What questions do you think would be most engaging for this topic? Delivering the goods, answering with purpose and clarity. Once you've posed a question, it's time to deliver the goods and provide a clear, concise answer. This is your opportunity to shine and demonstrate your understanding of the topic. This is where you get to share your knowledge and expertise with your readers. Make sure to engage them with well thought out responses. When answering your question, be sure to provide accurate and reliable information backed by credible sources. Use simple language that everyone can understand, avoiding overly complex terms, and break down complex concepts into smaller, more digestible chunks. Remember, your goal is to educate and inform your readers, making the information accessible to all. Avoid using jargon or technical terms that might confuse them. Clarity is key. For example, if your question was, what are the benefits of exercise? Your answer might include, exercise can help you lose weight or maintain a healthy weight, which is crucial for overall health. Exercise can reduce your risk of chronic diseases like heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, and some types of cancer. It's a powerful preventive measure. Exercise can improve your mood and reduce stress, anxiety, and depression, contributing to better mental health. Question. How can you ensure your answers are engaging and easy to understand? By being clear, concise, and considerate of your audience's needs. Keeping the conversation flowing calls to action in surveys. Congratulations! You've crafted engaging section intros, asked thought-provoking questions, and provided insightful answers. This is a great start, but there's more to do. But your job isn't done yet. To keep the conversation flowing and encourage interaction, end each section with a call to action or a survey. This helps to maintain engagement and gather valuable feedback. Calls to action. Encourage readers to take a specific action, like leaving a comment, sharing the article, or signing up for your newsletter. These actions help build a community around your content. Surveys. Gather valuable feedback from your audience and gain insights into their thoughts and preferences. This information can be crucial for improving your content. For example, you might end a section with call to action. What are your favorite ways to stay fit? Share your tips in the comments below. This invites readers to share their experiences. Survey. Take our quick survey and tell us about your exercise habits. This helps you understand your audience better. By inviting your readers to participate, you create a more interactive and engaging experience. This fosters a sense of community and belonging. Question, what are some creative calls to action or surveys you can think of? Share your ideas and let's brainstorm together. 
Wrapping it up. Section intros in a nutshell. Mastering the art of section introductions is crucial for creating content that's both informative and engaging. Remember these key takeaways. Grab attention. Use questions, bold statements, or surprising statistics to hook your readers from the start. Spark curiosity. Ask thought-provoking questions that encourage readers to actively engage with your content. Provide clear answers. Deliver valuable information in a way that's easy to understand and digest. Keep the conversation flowing. Use calls to action and surveys to encourage interaction and gather feedback. Question. How will you use section intros to improve your writing? Intros for the body, keeping the momentum going. While the introduction to your entire piece sets the stage, each section intro acts as a mini opening act. It's like a doorway leading your reader to a new room full of fascinating insights. Think about the flow of your content. Each section intro should seamlessly transition from the previous one while introducing the new topic at hand. Use your intros to create a natural progression that keeps your reader engaged. For example, if the previous section discussed the benefits of exercise, the next section intro could be, now that we know exercise is good for us, let's explore different ways to incorporate it into our daily lives. This intro acknowledges the previous section while smoothly guiding the reader to the next topic. Question, how can you make your section intros flow seamlessly from one to the next? Transitioning with finesse, connecting your sections seamlessly. The space between your sections is prime real estate. Don't let it go to waste. Use transition words and phrases to create a smooth, cohesive reading experience. Transition words act like bridges, connecting your ideas and helping your reader follow your train of thought. Here are a few examples of transition words and phrases. To add information, additionally, furthermore, moreover. To show contrast, however, on the other hand, conversely. To illustrate a point, for example, for instance, specifically. To summarize, in conclusion, to sum up ultimately. By using transition words strategically, you can guide your reader through your content with ease. What are your go-to transition words and phrases? Share your favorites in the comments. Engaging your audience more tips for dynamic section intros. There are endless ways to make your section intros more dynamic and engaging. Here are a few additional tips. Use humor. A well-placed joke or witty observation can make your content more relatable and enjoyable to read. Tell a story. Personal anecdotes can make your writing more relatable and engaging. Use strong verbs. Active verbs add energy and excitement to your writing. Keep it concise. Get to the point quickly and avoid unnecessary fluff. What other techniques can you use to make your section intros more engaging? The power of visuals. Adding images to your sections. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and that's especially true when it comes to online content. Images can convey emotions, set the tone, and provide context in ways that words sometimes cannot. Adding images to your sections can make your writing more visually appealing and easier to digest. Visuals can break up large blocks of text, making your content more engaging and reader-friendly. But don't just throw in any random image. The key is to be selective and intentional with your choices. Choose visuals that are relevant to your content and help to illustrate your points. This ensures that your images enhance rather than distract from your message. Here are a few ideas for images you can use. Photos. Use high-quality photos to add visual interest and break up large blocks of text. They can also evoke emotions and create a connection with your audience. Illustrations. Custom illustrations can add a unique touch to your content. They can be tailored to fit your specific needs and style. Charts and graphs. Use visuals to present data in a clear and concise way. This makes complex information more accessible and easier to understand. When adding images, be sure to use high quality images that are relevant to your content. Poor quality images can detract from your message and make your content look unprofessional. Optimize your images for web use so they load quickly. Slow loading images can frustrate your audience and increase bounce rates. Add captions to your images to provide context and improve accessibility. Captions can also enhance SEO by including relevant keywords. How do you use images to enhance your writing? Share your tips in the comments. Your insights could help others improve their content. Conclusion, mastering the art of section intros. Congratulations. You're well on your way to mastering the art of section introductions. 
By following these tips, you can create content that's both informative and engaging. Remember to keep your intros concise, relevant, and attention-grabbing. Ask thought-provoking questions, provide clear answers, and use calls to action and surveys to encourage interaction. Now it's your turn. Put these tips into practice and watch your writing soar to new heights. And don't forget to share your thoughts, questions, and feedback in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going.